Heidi. I am back with a contact lens review for a company that I have never reviewed for before. And um, uh, this is a really different kind of review. Uh, I usually start off with the pair that I like the most and then I go um, in order from I guess favorite to least favorite. But the thing is is that with this, I, I've got four lenses to show you guys, and with these lenses, I actually don't have a least favorite, and I don't have a most favorite. They are all so amazing, I could not decide which ones I like the best to start the video off with, so I just matched the contacts to my hair, and I thought it was easier that way. So I have four contacts from Just For Kira, and I would have uh, already filmed the unboxing, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert that here. All right, this is my first review for Just For Kira. I have never reviewed for them before, even though I have heard of them. Um, this is what the box looks like, which I, I quite like that. I think that's cute. Um, you know, just your typical box. I already took out the lenses. So what I'm going to review are, well, is, uh, Come on, this pair, Hito Blue, um, this one that's just SL70 Blue, Grace Green, and Alpha Green. This is a very pretty box, by the way. And so is this. And lastly, I'm really impressed by this case. I've never seen a case like this before. It's very sturdy. All contact companies give you free lens cases, but usually they're separate cases. And this is actually one piece. So it's connected. And these do feel sturdier than the usual. You have your little suction cup and this just snaps shut. So that's pretty cool and I will be back with the actual lenses. And uh, let me start off with this first pair. These are SL70 Blue and they're incredibly striking. These are a really, really vivid, nice blue color. I'm a huge fan of colors that mix with other colors. So contacts that have you know, a, a brown, what's that word? <laughs> a complementary color to brown, so that way it blends in with my pupils, or my pupils, it blends in with my eye color more. If I'm a bit slow or awkward, uh, I do apologize. I'm gonna have an update video along with this one, probably right before it. Um, but I am on some nerve medication uh, for my elbow and get kitty cat. I'm on some nerve medication for my elbow and it is keeping me asleep. Um, I am sleeping so much I can't focus, I can't walk straight, I am all over the place. Um, it is working completely for my arm but uh, I'm so tired I can't even think. So. If I'm slow and struggling to form words, that's why. Um, but yeah, these contacts are a great <laughs> addition to the whole blue thing I'm doing now. And uh, I really, really like them. I think they look great. These lenses are called Grace Green, and you know me, I'm a huge fan of the yellowish green color, um, well, yellowish contact lenses, and these uh, these probably look more artificial than most, but I'm a fan of artificial, and I really, really love these. These uh, have great coverage. Um, they don't have like a dark limbo ring or anything. Definitely one of my favorite yellow lenses. Uh, I know they're supposed to be green, but they are obviously <laughs> more yellow, and I love them. So this is my eye color, just as a reminder.
and they're so comfortable like it doesn't feel like I've got contact lenses in they feel amazing on the eye there they are comparable to color CL super moist where they don't dry out your eye and they don't feel heavy like some lenses do where it feels like you've got sand or dirt in your eye or you're hyper aware that you are wearing contact lenses with these it's it's not even like that you can wear these and feel like you don't have anything on your eyes Funny story with these lenses. These are alpha green and as you guys might know I got LASIK surgery and my eyes were super 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 bad. After LASIK and after my eyes have had a chance to heal um, my eyes do change and a lot of it's probably because I'm diabetic and when my blood sugars go up as they do um, my eyes get blurry so I saw this color on the website and I thought they were so awesome looking I really 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 wanted to try them they've got the small pupil hole which I'm a huge fan of Plano whatever it's called no prescription so I got them in the lowest prescription that they had. Um, the, um, the company did write to me and, you know, just double checked with me, which is awesome that they cared enough to do that. They said, you know, <clears throat> you ordered one pair that's um, negative, this is negative one, um, and the rest were in zero. Are you sure? Are you sure you want them? You know, because I guess they... They wouldn't want me to give them a bad review, obviously, if I, I got lenses that I couldn't see out of, and I blame them, um, but I, I'm not like that. I knew what I was doing, and I reassured them that I did, I did want them. <clears throat> I thought that everything would be blurry, but I'd be able to see enough to use them for photos and for the video, and to my horror, I can see clearly, which means my eyes are at, at least a negative one which sucks um, like now you've got a little bit of a tunnel vision because the pupil hole is small but it's not like the screen lenses where you can't see through them you can it just looks like maybe kind of like you're wearing a pair of sunglasses and I'm looking at the TV right behind me and it's clear uh, I'm not happy about that because after going through LASIK you would expect that your eyes would be pretty good not still in the negative but I'm still in the negative so that makes me really unhappy but on the plus side it means I can use these <laughs> lenses and they are they are amazing they are probably the most detailed lenses on the site um, and coverage is unlike unlike any of the contact lenses when I started wearing lenses these are just gorgeous and I've got one pair left, which are the ones that I, I thought would be my favorites. But like I said, this whole haul are my favorites. They are all shockingly good. So I will be right back with the last pair. All right, last but not least, um, these lenses are called Hito Blue, and I, I i know I say this for every lens that I review, but I love these lenses. Um, I've started seeing this new trend of um, multicolored lenses coming out, and by multicolored I mean it'll be half one color, half another color. It'll be a good mixture of two colors and not around the pupil, it's the actual lens. As you can see from these. I've got ones that are like part red and part green and part pink and part blue, but these look the most realistic out of any of the partial colored lenses that I have, the double colored. And these are blue and green. Look at that. That looks so good. It looks so natural in a weird way because eyes don't normally look like that. but. 
they're understated but still vibrant. I just love the way the two colors blend together. They have a couple of at least one other color like this, um, a different combination, and I really wanted to try the other combinations, but I wanted to try everything else that I grabbed as well, so I was like, well, it's a hard choice, I tell you. It was a hard, hard choice. I had seen um, Just For Kira advertise on Instagram and Facebook, and I've always wanted to try their lenses. You know, I'm always down to try lenses from different companies, and it was a great day when they contacted me and asked if I would like to review, and I, I jumped on it. I was like, yes, I know your company. I have been wanting to try some stuff from you guys, and I was not disappointed. I was more than surprised because, like I said, this is the first time it's ever happened where I couldn't pick a favorite because I love them all equally. Um, usually it's been a clear favorite, you know, it's a clear, I love this one and this one I still love, but not as much. This was across the board even. I love all of them. They are all comfortable. They are all, I mean, heavily pigmented. It's right up there with my top, uh, my top companies and I am just in love with these lenses and the color combinations and I definitely would say give them a try. Um, the price point's about the same as the other companies uh, but you definitely definitely won't lose by trying some of these lenses. These are just just so cool and uh, I love them and I'm so glad I got to finally try something from this company and that they lived up to how gorgeous the lenses look online because um, you never know with certain companies if they're using other companies pictures and selling really cheap low quality lenses um, that look nothing like the picture these look like the pictures and videos but actually maybe even a little bit better seeing them on you and seeing them with full makeup kind of changes the way that they look and uh, it's improved them. Not that there was anything wrong with them, they just are super nice and I'm super impressed. But um, that's it for now and I will see you guys. I actually have a different, different kind of review coming up whenever it comes in and I have a bit of time to trial, um, it's going to be a CBD review and, uh, I've never tried CBD. I'm not a fan of like weed or weed stuff. Um, I just don't like it. So I've stayed away from CBD under the assumption that it is going to make me feel like I do if I were to smoke weed, which I don't like. And uh, I was assured that it's great for pain and it won't make you feel like that. So I'm going to be getting some gummies from Vance Global, who is a company that I trial different kinds of gummies and stuff for. Well, I trial them, but more. I hand them over to Josh and he trials them. But this I'm going to trial myself um, for my pain and see how it goes. And I will be working on that video in the background for those of you who are still around. And until then, I will see you. Take care, and I hope you enjoyed these gorgeous lenses because I know I did.